Hey guys, it's Jack and I'm back with another video and today if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, I'm here with how to tell if you are Asian. And with that being said, cue to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So the reason why I decided to make this video was because over the past couple of days, I went back home and if you guys cannot tell I am Asian, I was like, damn, there's a lot of content in my house. So this video is going to be kind of different than what I normally do because there's going to be stuff where I'm naming stuff and I'm going to show y'all clips that I filmed from my house. So with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to help y'all tell if you guys are Asian. So if you guys do anything on this list, you are Asian. And with that being said, do not take anything as offensive because this video was made for content purposes. Um, a lot of things that I say is definitely for jokes and definitely stuff that I grew up with. So not all Asians do this. This is from my personal experience. So do not you know hate me if y'all do i'm sorry i did not mean to offend y'all um but yeah this is all for content purposes but with that being said let's get started with the video so first things first the first thing on my list is to tell if you are asian you have to have a rice cooker at home so i know for me personally i am not the only asian that has a rice cooker you are definitely not an asian if you don't have a rice cooker so if you are an asian that don't has a rice cooker i'm taking your asian card and with that being said here's a quick clip that i filmed when i was at home next thing that all asians have is a rice cooker. If you do not have a rice cooker, are you even Asian? Um, you can also count this too as like a water heater temperature thing to like heat stuff. I feel like a lot of Asians may have this, may not. This is 50-50, but the rice cooker is definitely a must have. If you don't have a rice cooker, you're not Asian. I'm taking your Asian card and I'm revoking your Asian card. Every Asian has a rice cooker. And if you have this, this is the plus. You are super Asian if you have that, but if you have a rice cooker, you're just Asian. But uh, yeah. Had rice cooker my whole life. Love rice. Love it. Let me know down below if you love rice and comment down below if you had this growing up. Moving on to the next thing to tell if you are Asian. You have a big bucket of rice. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I just always grew up and there was a big bucket of rice that I've always had. And yeah, with that being said, here's the next clip. So here's one of the main staples to tell if you are Asian. When you open up your pantry, the first thing you see is a giant bucket of rice. This is just a giant bucket of rice that we have had my whole life. That's where we have kept our rice forever. Moving on to the next thing, it's you have ramen. You always have a big box of ramen. You always just have ramen on you. Growing up, I've always had ramen at my house. I've always had the rice cooker, rice, um, and ramen. I've, those are like the three essential food items that we've always had at home. So with that being said, here's a clip that I took. And also, other than the rice, you know, what do Asians eat the most other than rice is noodles. So we have some ramen here and this is, this is the ramen. I feel like all Asians have this ramen. All Asians know this ramen. If you do not know this ramen, you are not Asian. If you do not know what this is, you are not Asian. If, like, if you're an Asian and watching this and you do not know what this is, I'm revoking your fucking Asian card. I feel like all Asians have this. All Asians have ramen in the fucking pantry. At least I think. Like, bruh, every time, every winter, every um like snowstorm or whatever would happen we would always eat ramen this and like fucking beef and like other shit i don't know if that's just me but comment down below if you know what this is if not i'm, I'm taking your asian card and if you don't have a bucket of rice i'm taking your asian card but i feel like all asians know what this is the next thing is going to be no shoes in the house i feel like this is probably the most well-known stereotype about asians asians don't wear shoes in the house um yeah I don't wear shoes in the house. Um, it's weird. Uh, I don't even like people. How people get into the beds with shoes sometimes. It's weird, but I don't know. That's none of my business. But yeah, no shoes in the house. Right now I'm in my garage, and you, as you can see, uh, we have all these shoes, all these shoes, and I'm gonna flip to this side, and we got more shoes over here. Yes, the stereotypes about Asians not wearing shoes in the house is real. Cause look, we do not wear shoes in the house. I got my little Crocs on right now. We got slides and stuff like that. But as soon as you step in the house, you, no shoes. No fucking shoes. Like, I'm not, I had to, I had to put on socks. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I didn't wanna show y'all my puppies. I didn't wanna show you my dogs for real. But like, as you can see, we got no shoes in the house. And all the shoes are always like, out here in the garage. Or like, and by the front door, like those. So yeah. 
the stereotype is true. Asians do not wear shoes in their house. If you do, you're nasty. So next thing is when you move to college, your room becomes a storage room. I don't know if this is just me, but as soon as I moved out, my mom made my room into her extra closet. She made my sister's room an extra storage room. Um, yes, but it was as soon as we left. Like, it was fine when we were there, but as soon as we left the house, it became the storage room. So this is what my sister room looks like now. Um, if you guys don't know, I do have an older sister who is about like seven years older than me. And she has not lived in this room for the past maybe five-ish years around that time and this is what my parents have turned it into this is basically another storage room that they have created and yeah a lot of this stuff did come from my room because they also turned my room into a storage room once i moved off to college so i had to move a lot of stuff in here so i'll be able to sleep in my room but yeah as you can tell we just got stuff everywhere um suitcases bins shoes even a printer that's the present I got my dad that's just chilling in here. Um, books, baby stuff, um, just everything. This room is a hot mess. You know, just got everything laying out, stuff on the floor, just everywhere, things everywhere. Um, yeah, just let me know down below if y'all Asian parents do this too or is that just me? The next thing is going to be Asian statues. I know growing up I had these three Asian statues that you guys will see in the next clip, but I grew up with them. I don't really know what they mean, but yeah, you if you are 100% Asian if you have those Asian statues. So another thing are these Asian statues. On oh God, I'm gonna be honest, I grew up with these in my house. These have always been here and I've never seen these move. I've only seen these been clean, but like these, those three men statues have been there my whole life. The same with the cat and then the frogs and the like the mini figurines of Buddha. I don't know what that key is. I'm, I'm, I'm now just saying that I didn't know that was back there. But yes, so let me know down below in the comments if your Asian parents have these in your household because I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what these are. I just know these been in my house my whole life. These probably are older than me. Um, yeah, I just... I don't know. I don't know what they mean. Let me know also down below in the comments what these mean. I don't know what these mean, but yeah, I grew up with these. Um, yeah, if you are Asian, you have to have these. Like, this must be a guarantee on God. But yeah, like, um, I don't know. I don't know if my parents, or like, they prayed to them or something for Buddhism, because my parents are Buddhist. I definitely just butchered the saying, but like, yeah. I have these. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully I do not disrespect no one because I hope I don't disrespect my parents or nothing just because I don't know what these are. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue what these are. And I would love to be educated about this because my parents didn't teach me nothing about this. So I will definitely be roasted if needed because I don't know anything, but I would definitely love to get more information about these. Next is going to be DIYing your house, doing it yourself, your house. I don't know if it's just my dad, but my dad's too lazy to go out and pay someone, so he does everything himself, whether it is the toilet, the shower head, the, the, like, the car garage, the couches, anything. My dad does all that stuff, and you guys will see it in the next clip. One thing about an Asian household, at least mine, that I've realized is that my dad does not like paying people to do things, and he would like to do it himself, DIY it. So as you can tell, like, look at these bottoms. You would think this is fucking tape, right? No, my dad painted this, like, my dad painted this shit blue. Like, like, bro, look, it's like, what the, it's blue and the walls are green. You can't tell because, like, on camera it looks white, but it's blue and fucking green. And, like, let's walk, let's walk to the stairs. As you walk to the fucking stairs, my t like, what the, f <laughs> like, bro, my, t like, instead of fucking painting, it white or like getting something to do it. He painted it himself. He did it himself. I will say my dad did paint these repaint these cabinets as you could tell like right here specifically. This is not bad, but when it, like come on dad, come on, like and then like look at this. This is this used to be like Dexter's room, but like Dexter used to like tear up the floor. So like my dad did that and then painted that blue and like. 
bro. Like, I'll show you another thing. Like, my dad, like, on this store, he repainted it, right? It looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. Because you can definitely tell, like, this is, like, paint and stuff that my dad definitely painted. But, like, other than that mess up, my dad did pretty good. But then when he came into the house, he decided to paint these blue. Yeah, let me know down below in the comments if your parents also DIY your house, too. Because... Yeah, I'm sorry. One of these days, I'm going to make it big, get enough money. I'm going to renovate this whole house for my parents. And so we don't have to see that again. The next thing is going to be things around the house that are mismatching. I don't know if it's just me, but like just growing up, my parents don't really care if it matches. It's always been mismatching. It's like they don't care if it looks bad as long as they are able to use it. So like I guess what is that quality over quantity? I don't know what it's called. But basically, it's like they don't care if it doesn't match or if it's ugly. They just care if it's usable so we're about to go into my room and i'm about to expose myself but i'm just going to show you all that with me and my asian family a lot of the stuff that we have are mismatching if that makes sense i'll probably explain more but i'm about to expose myself, myself. but like i said i recently moved back or came back to visit and then moved stuff from my room to my sister's room so it's gonna be a little weird but i'm about to expose myself but as i walk in to my room yes as you can tell we have a lot of mismatching stuff. For example, this brown does not match this brown. My bed's black, that's brown, that's white, that desk, yes. So basically what I'm trying to say is that we have furniture that's mismatching. So we got that does not go with that, that don't go with that, that don't go with that, that doesn't go with that. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I might be exaggerating it, but I don't know. I guess we just have mis matching furniture and stuff like that if that's maybe if y'all get that so in the living room or well, this is not what well, the living room is right there and then the kitchen is right here um but also in the this the dining table or whatever this dining table does not match because we have a fucking green chair a red chair and two other fucking chairs where like it don't make no sense we got that old looking couch over here um also we got like these drawers that thing with like it's like everything's mismatching if that makes sense I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. It's just that I feel like with Asians, they don't care as long as they have something to, like, they have something to put stuff. So, or as long as they have something that they could use as usable, they don't care if it mismatches. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know down below if you have mismatching stuff too. Next is going to be an Asian calendar. I feel like growing up, I've always had the same Asian calendar and we get it from the same place every year. And I feel like you can tell, like, you're Asian if you have this Asian calendar. So this Asian calendar, you are super Asian if you have this exact specific Asian calendar. I feel like all Asians have this fucking calendar. Um, I grew up with this. Just they, we get the same one. It kind, it looks same but different. But it, we have this every single year. And with that said, we have the same Asian calendar. So I feel like a lot of Asians should have this. If you don't, I'm taking your Asian card. Um, or if not something like this, something very similar to this that has probably Asian wording on it. So like basically what I'm trying to say is that you are Asian if you have an Asian calendar. Next is going to be keeping your old school projects. I don't know why, but my parents have always kept me and my sister's old school projects and hung it up as like a trophy. I don't know why. Let me know down below if y'all parents have done that, but I don't know why. Yeah. Right here we have some projects that me, your boy Jackie, as you can see right there, Right there, your boy, you can see that these projects are hung up as like shrines or whatever. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I did these when I was in fourth grade. Fourth fucking grade. So when you were in fourth grade, how old are you? Like eight, nine, ten, something like that? I was young. And this is what we did. And my parents hung it up like a fucking shrine. Like, bruh, I like number 23. I remember that was like my fourth grade number. I was always like in the bottom list or like the bottom around the end of the, like the class list because my last name was Wong. So you can see we have all these projects like look, I I, I don't like we have these hung up and we've hung these up since I was in fourth grade. My room is right here mind you, but I don't know. I don't know why we have these hung up as like designs. I, we could have just like gotten something instead or put pictures but no we decided to put my fucking project. And last but not least, you have a dog so you can eat it. Just kidding, I'm just joking. That was a completely joke. Um, yeah, for I feel like to tell if you're Asian, this is like a 50-50 one. Some, some Asians have a dog, some Asians don't have a dog. 
but yeah if you have a dog you're asian if not you're still asian because like it's either 50 50 because either asians are they love a dog and they'll just feed it anything or they are scared of dogs so it's one or the other and last but not least this is a 50 50 you have a dog so the reason why i say this is 50 some asians are either scared of dogs or they either love dogs and i'm not trying to make no racist jokes because no we've had dexter my whole life i had him since i was in seventh grade so he he's safe with us we try to treat him right um but look at him he's a little excited but he's already dexter yes sir um but yeah, he's tired. I'm, I am filming this video late as I look at him yawn. Yeah, look at this, my boy Dexter. All right, sit. All right, all right, all right, wait. Let me put this down. Wait, lay down, lay down. Come on, come on. Yeah, stay, stay. All right, sit. No, come on, get up. Come on, you're making me look bad. All right, sit, sit, sit. No, sit, boy. All right, come on, give me your hand. Yeah, give me the other one, give me the other one. Yeah. All right, you ready? This is your time. Get it, get it, get it. Yo, yo, that's my boy Dexter. That's my boy. I love that boy. And that is going to conclude today's video. I know today's video was a little different than what I normally do, and I hope you guys enjoy the way I edit and put it together because these were filmed in two different days. Um, because right now I'm filming in my apartment in Kennesaw, but I was back in Duluth with family. So I hope you guys enjoyed the style of this video. I hope it came out somewhat good, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I hope this video helped y'all tell if you guys were Asian or not um, and like I said this was just off of jokes off of content so do not take me too seriously um, so do not like hate me in the comments but yeah comment down below if you guys are Asian and also if your parents have done the same thing or just other stuff that I've mentioned in this video let me know down below so with all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let me know if you want to see more content like this because I'm trying to switch it up make more Asian content you know because you know I'm Asian and I think it will be fun and all that stuff so let me know down below if you want to see more content and I would know by hitting that like button and all that fun stuff so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed today's video subscribe share and your boys out